Here's a walkthrough of the process of running Adobe Premiere on a Bebop workstation. Open the Bebop client app and log into your account. Authorize your account using Duo two-factor authentication. When you get the notification from Duo, open the app on your phone and click the green check mark button. Now you're at the Bebop client main window. Select the pod associated with your job. This is the workstation window. Depending on your unique situation, you may have more or less available workstations. A grayed out button indicates an available workstation. A green button means someone who's already logged into that particular machine. Click on the selected workstation and the button turns yellow, indicating that your virtual PC is booting up. When the button turns green, click on it to launch the workstation. When it finishes loading, you will see the Bebop dashboard. Mount the projects associated with your job. Network storage or volumes is what Bebop means when you see the word project. Depending on your configuration, you will see available application icons in the App Launcher section of the dashboard. If you're using a Mac to run the Bebop client, click the Enable Mac Keyboard button and your keyboard will be mapped as a Windows keyboard. Click the Premier icon to launch the app. If you're asked to log in to your Creative Cloud account, enter your details and click Sign In. When you start a project, confirm that all your scratch disks and cache settings are mapped to one of your Bebop projects. Never store data on the C drive because it is a virtual drive and all the data will be lost when you shut down the workstation. If your screen is locked, click the connection menu on the Bebop Session app and select Send Control Alt Delete. Then enter your Bebop password. Your screen will be unlocked. That's it. Now you're ready to edit.